Well, hello gamers, I'm Bartuari and welcome back to another episode of Life is Feudal First Village. And last time we played, we uh, expanded our village just a little bit. I added some fields up here. And we are trying to see if we can get a lot more food going. Now, uh, the winter is approaching, it's early fall. So I think maybe I should be getting all fruits, all vegetables as well. That should get me some uh, additional fruit and vegetables. And I think we should start thinking about uh, doing some expansion, I think. Yeah. We need some more people in our village and we definitely need some more uh, production, I think. Now, I have been getting some uh, some uh, tips uh, in the in the discussions in the comments like for example apparently when you build something it is possible to build a building in any angle you want let me show you so normally it says press r key to rotate but apparently when you keep pressing and holding the arc you can actually place buildings any in any angle you want so that's something i have learned I have learned uh, a few other things which I will be showing you as we go. Now, this guy here, I would like to have this one going. This one needs, uh, I think it's grain. So probably the next time I should be planting wheat on these. Yeah, I think when the, when the winter is gone, I should be doing some wheat up there. Now, there are a few more things I would like to try out. Like, for example, we have uh, also the, the, what's it, the apiary where you have the bees. You have the coop where you can uh, have chicken. And we have the windmill where we already have a windmill, don't we? Oh, no, I don't have a windmill yet. Huh. Actually, will the bakery need... Will it actually need a windmill? I don't know. I really don't know at all. So when this one is go is done, I should be uh, putting it on pause, removing every little villager from uh, that field. Oh, he's even making more apples. Look, I thought I said he sh should go collect them all. This is empty. Yeah, le let's pause this one. Pause this one. And make sure this is all cleaned out. Oh, he's z z z z z z z z z z oh, this one too. What are you doing, man? Mine resources. Yeah, of course, go mine some resources. Do we have some? We have a small amount of meat as well. I think that's because of our hunters. I'm not quite sure. We don't have all that much fish anymore. Although I have three fishes. So maybe I should be adding uh, another fishery somewhere. Uh, although I have two already. They are overlapping each other, so that's not all that good actually uh maybe i should change that in the future move it up a little bit mm -hmm. i have a lot of stuff to do actually the vegetables are getting uh are being collected so that is good now what should i be doing should i be adding i think i won't be adding a house yet because i have four little teenagers who will grow up pretty soon to be adults and once they are adults I will be able to uh, use them in in any location I want so I'm hoping to be have two more uh, farmers ready in order to get the grain I need for the bakery something I might also check is these pies here I've heard that pies are probably even better than uh, just bread but then I need flour and water and honey for the honey pie uh, the other one is meat i think yeah meat flour and water vegetable pie is eggs vegetables and water so i don't have any of the third components i'm gonna be making bread for now fish pie do i have everything hmm i need a mill the windmill if i want to make pies i need the windmill so yeah let's uh i guess Wait until this is gone. Come on, collect everything, people. Peoples. You shouldn't be making any more. This is actually fall. Early fall, so he's making apples until fall. End of fall, I guess. I actually wouldn't know. What's this again? The carpenter. 
Oh yeah, do we have timber? Yes, we have some timber. Firewood. We have hay, we have some wood being collected. So I have three fishermen, three hunters, uh, the, how's it called? Um, the, the orchard guy. I have four foresters, I think. Yes, for foresters. Actually, they are not foresters. What's this? That's the forester, yes, and these are the farmers. I always make the same mistake. I have lumberjack, I have the forester, and I have the guy making the tools. Oh yeah, what's the status on the tools actually? No, it's a carpenter. <laughs> lumberjack making firewood. I think I will have enough firewood to last for this winter. Oh, see, winter is kicking in, so production will get lost. Why didn't you collect everything? Have like four of you? Let's add one more and collect everything before winter is here. Because when winter hits, I will be losing the 420 uh, vegetables I still have on my fields actually. But why are they carrying to storage? He's collecting hay. Oh, probably because I've been terraforming a bit. That might be a thing. Mm, I think probably at some point I will have to make a barn and another storage house, the warehouse, somewhere a little bit closer to the other areas. Like, this one isn't full yet, but... If they need to bring food from this point to this point, they will take a while before, uh, before they get there. So maybe I should be building another barn up here to put the, the food in. But I think I will be doing that once... Uh, once I have more place, more room to actually build more fields, that's my maybe thing. So one of the kids, the teenagers grew up. Oh yeah, I put him in the farm. Come on, collect every single thing you can. I don't get it. You, zero. I'm not quite sure yet how this works. I think current and maximum amount of people in the building. So that's this field. And this is the total amount of people you have in that prof profession. Okay, now I see it. Now I get it, I think. Come on, collect the apples, man. There is no way I will be getting apples in the winter. In the winter so why? 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 I do not understand why this one isn't getting collected. I'm also wondering if there is a, a perfect size for a field. Uh, like for example, is there is there a perfect size for a, a, a grain field uh, to have, for example, two farmers on there and yield the maximum amount of uh, vegetables? I wonder if that's a thing. Huh, maybe I should look that up for the next time and check if I can do something like that. Because if there is a, an optimal size for things, maybe I should try to build in that size like now I have two people uh, in this farm but I wonder if I could make a bigger uh, field let me check that can you see that actually I have the food thingies I have the field and now I'm wondering this is one guy this is two still three people required so 10 by 24, 10 by 24 seems to be the maximum, I think. Huh. I think. I'm not sure yet. So this was 10 by 20. Which means I probably should make them bigger. I'm going to try that next. When uh, winter hits, I will try to destroy these two field, fields and try to make them 10 by 24 to see if uh, if that improves anything. So I can mark this one for destruction. How do I do that? I think it's general information, this. Create old terraforming, flattening, raise, lower, flattens ground. No, that's not what I need. Menu, fences, decorations. Roads. 
council structures, municipal buildings. There should be some way to destroy things. Oh, this, this. Minimap. Increase building and gathering priority. Click on a building to destroy, I think. Field demolition started. Okay, okay, okay. So this can go ahead. They can destroy this field. Winter will be coming pretty soon and I want to have 10 by 24 to see if if that's the thing. Because from what I see, I should be able to make a 10 by 24 field. So 10 by 20. Come on, I had it. 10 by 24, something like that. This is three people. This is two people. So 10 by 24 is 240 for two people. It's strange. Yep, yeah, 10 by 24. I will be trying that. I certainly will be trying that. Let me cancel this. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna be destroying this one too. Mark for destruction. Yeah, destroy. Come on, man, destroy. I should be removing everyone from the fields and make sure I have... Come on. Move, move, move. I can't see anything. Okay, I have three fishers. That's fine. Where are my six... You can be removed. Let's have some builders. Because I definitely want to change that. Maybe I should also uh, get rid of some materials up here. So I can expand. Collect all resources. And do it like that. So I have some resources coming in. Let's now check. I have 350 fruit. 1300 vegetables. 740 uh, wood, I have 100 fish, 200 meat. I think maybe that should be enough. Let's put you on pause, remove you from here so that I have more people going. I'm hoping this will get destroyed and this will get destroyed. I really do hope. Let's put you into building. Maybe I should put some more into the mines now. Off to the mines you go, my friend. One. Then I have two people carrying stuff. I think that should be enough. Maybe I can put some more into the fish. Or maybe even some hunters. These are the hunters. I have three out of six. Let's put one more hunter in. Come on, destroy things. Destroy the things, my friend. Can I... Increase priority. I have seen something about increasing priority. Minimap. Select area to increase gathering and building priority. You should be prioritized and you should be prioritized. And of course, I should be destroying this one too then. Yeah, let's destroy the well and prioritize this as well. I think I will be changing a few things. So one idea I have is to put up fields... Uh, 10 by 24 and try to have a gap in between so first of all 10 by 24 I will have to reposition those uh, scarecrows as well let me check this one is overlapping with this one this one has the whole field uh, I should be putting it in the center so that I only need one or two maybe hmm an idea is to have two fields separated by a big road in between so I can have a scarecrow in, in the middle and maybe have a, a water well in between as well. Maybe that's a thing. So this thing is getting destroyed. Nothing is happening here. But wh where are all the other builders going? Are they flattening the terrain here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did some terraforming last time here. Yeah, that should allow me to make a nice road going up and make the people lose less time, I think. You, mm -hmm. let me get in close up. Come on, what are you doing? Have your bow up and kill 
the bear. Here is the bear. There you go. There you go. Escape. And continue with whatever you were doing. So I definitely want to redo these. Because I, I do really want to have um, a better food production. I think my food production was pretty much okay for now. I have some food. Yeah. If I can make it through the winter with quite a bit of food left, then it's time to build another building, actually. Another another house, maybe. And, uh, yeah, have some more people in the village. So what are you doing? Nothing? You are destroying everything. Good, 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 good. That's what I need you to do. So, 10 by 24. I will have to look up if that's the perfect size for a, a farm for two people. If you guys know... Uh, what the perfect size is for a farm for two people, please let me know in the comment section uh, below the video because I have absolutely no idea for now. And I do really want to uh, optimize my, my farming because farming is important to get the necessary components for uh, for other things. Like, like vegetables are needed for food, but they are also needed as components for the pies. And I think, let me look... So vegetables give you uh, fruit gives you give you six calories. Vegetables give you seven calories. But those pies look 39, 56 calories, 59 calories, and 41 calories. So I think uh, fish pie is lower. Bread is still lower. So I think probably fish pies are a lot better for the people. So if I have uh, 10 fish pies, that's about as much as let me think 100 vegetables. No, 50 vegetables is. What am I talking about? So, 10 vegetable pies is 560 calories, and one vegetable is only 7 calories. So, it's like 80. 10 pies is good for 80 vegetables, something like that. Okay, so this is destroyed. Is this one destroyed too? Where are my people? Come on, destroy. Let's speed up a bit. Destroy this, this thing. And then, uh, you, you, come on, do it. Uh, let's kill the bear. Kill the bear and the fox. Three. There. Oh, no, I missed. I missed. I missed. What's happening? I missed. You are dead. Mr. Fox is gonna die. There. Uh, it's safe again on the field. Oh, autosave, autosave. Oh, she's picking up the food. Great. So let's not try it. If I have pause, relax, check a few things. The farms, I have a field. Let's see where I can start the field. I can start the field right here. I think it goes up to this corner. Yeah, there is a road in between. So if I have 10 by 24, 10 by 24, something like this. Yes, 10 by 24. Okay, so that's going to get built. And then I will be setting up a road. I think... Uh, I'm not quite sure. We will see. We will see what they do with this. They are collecting this. They are collecting this. So I think everything is going as expected. This was a stone quarry, which is good. I have this one still going. What are you, small house? You are the carpenter. You need... I'm going to be uh, training a carpenter to give them tools. I seem to be getting some stone from the quarry. And I have some logs. So some tools should be good as well. Okay, they are starting to build this, which is great. They are bringing... Oh, yes, yes, yes. No. Road. Let's have a road like this. I think this should work. Yep, this is a road. One, two. Maybe I should have four in between. Let's check for the well first. Let's check for the well. The well. Where did the well go? I think it's municipal buildings. A water well? Yeah. Oh, the water well is big, actually. Huh. 
Let's put that up here. Yes, and then have another road. Oh, I can see a thing now. I need a scarecrow in between, I think, as well. Uh, it's not decorations, I think. Yeah, it is. Why is that on the decoration? If it's really... Oh, yeah. Oh, this one is still better. Hmm. Let's check. Can I destroy this one? Yep. Scarecrow is marked for demolition. I will be marking this one for demolition too. And then I can rebuild it. So now I have a field. I need a second field. I need a road right next to it. I probably shouldn't have put the well up there, but the well down here. Yeah, maybe that's the thing. Let me try to cancel that really quick. It's too late already. Darn. Uh, uh, quick, 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 quick. No, no, don't, 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 don't. Destroy. Yeah, there you go. Have your well down here. Mm, no. I don't think I have the room for it down here. Let me check. Pause. Relax. Uh, the well is under municipal buildings, I think. Yeah, well. Do I have room? No, I don't have room. But what I can do is this. I think flatten. No, it's not flatten I wanted. Razor lower the ground. Is it that? No. This. Create a hill. Create a ramp. Flatten at height. Let's try this. What's it doing now? I don't want that. Flatten at a height. Let's go a little bit closer so I can clearly see what's happening. I want this. And I want it like that, I think. I'm not used to those terraforming tools, so... I'm hoping to get a flat area where I can build my my well now. So if I have a well up here, it should be good. It should be perfect, actually. Why are they still bringing stuff up here? I want to destroy that. I want my well down so I don't lose all that much stuff. Destroy. So this is getting destroyed, yes? Is it? Vegetables are fine. I think I'm doing okay on the on the on the food now. So I will be expanding this. Huh. This one is done. Almost done. Great, great, great. I have some wood logs. I have a sunstone. I kinda expect to have more stone, but I have three more people now, so I can put a few more into the quarry maybe. And generate a bit more stone. How many people can I get it? 12? Really? That's a lot. Okay. Let's check this. This is almost up. Oh, they have flattened it way too far. Look. Ah, this is silly. Question is, can I now put up my well? Yeah, I should be able to. Oh, they are still terraforming it. I think. Yeah. But I should be able to place my well somewhere up here, which is great. Come on, you. No, no, don't go away. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, pause. Wait, wait. I have a job for you. You need to go kill this guy. Come on. Come on, kill it. Yeah, something like this. Oh, yeah. Look, done. Okay, continue with your job. So, um, yeah. I kind of hope he will be finishing this. This is done. This is... I don't know what's happening here. Relax. Oh yeah, they are bringing stuff back. So... I can put up a scarecrow here. I can put up a road here. And I'm hoping I will be able to put up another field. The food, the field... And a field which starts somewhere... Oh, they are still terraforming, really? 
cannot be built in that space. Okay, okay. I will have to wait until everything is done. Yeah, they are still terraforming it. That's why. And probably they need to bring that back too. Let me check. Is it ready now? No, it isn't ready. This should work, yes. But the rest of the area isn't empty yet. Let's continue. Conti oh, no, it is. Is it? Let's try to put up another 20 10 by 24 field. So start here. Yes, but not enough space. 10 by 22, 23, 24. I think that's it, yes. And then have our well somewhere. I will need a road. A road going from this side to over here. Yeah, I think it will end up here, yes. So that's the thing, I have my road. I will be placing my uh, little well up here, which is actually right in between those. I think that's the thing. Yeah, and then I need my scarecrow, but I will need some terraforming as well. I want to make this the same height, flatten at height. So this, I think that's it. But the question is, is this done? Yes, it is. And I also need, but I don't think I will be able to build that. Under decoration, I need another scarecrow. Can I place it now? Oh yeah, this one will cover the whole field, but I should actually build it up here at some point. Because then it will cover two fields. Huh. Well, let's place it here for now. Yeah, something like this. Now, uh, let's also terraform this a bit more. Just flatten out the area so I have room for my uh, my other things. So this, just a little bit. I think that should do it. That should allow me to place a road and the scarecrow. Okay, Let, let's get this going. People go build stuff. Go do your thing. Going to be speeding up just a little bit more. So we can have some construction going and maybe finish that before the end of today's episode. Winter. We will be surviving the winter. Come on. Get to it. Get to it, my friends. What's he doing? Oh yeah, yeah. Flattening the ground. Maybe I should have done before I did all the rest. Flattened the ground before I had everything else going? Hmm, I think that might have been better, yeah. Let's do this too. No, what's this? Wheat. Why is there like a block of things up there? You will be placing that there? Yes, and now I will be going in side of you killing the boar should allow people to pick up the meat and bring that back as well oh yes two fields 24 by tw 24 i need four people in there two people in here yes that's what i need i will be needing two people in here but not right now pause you i need two people in here that come on let me have two people in there no, I can't. Yes, yes, I need to wait until until I have the people to do it. Okay, 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 okay. Let's continue. Now, once this is done, I should have... Oh, I placed it incorrectly? Really? Oh, crap, crap, crap. It's not correct. Uh, I'm so silly. I'm gonna have to destroy it. This will bother me. Uh, okay, let's destroy it. Waste of materials, waste of time. Let's do it. I can replace it later on. 
Uh, they will be destroying it, I hope. Bringing everything back home. Terraforming all the rest. Yeah, should allow me to have a road going. That's nice. Mm. I probably think it's a good idea to redo it completely. But I'm wasting so much time now. You know what, guys? I will be wrapping up today's episode right here and I will be redoing this uh, farming area off camera. So I have something new to show you next time. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. And if you have comments or suggestions, feel free to post those in the comment section below the video. While you are there, check out the description. That's where we find links to my social media pages, links to the Patreon page, links to the other crazy folks and creative misfits guys as well. And feel free to subscribe to the channel while you are here. And that would help me reach my next subscriber goal. And it will notify you when I post new content to the channel. That being said, I will be wrapping up today's episode, so until next time, have fun and stay safe. Bye!